Uh, Mr. Mr. Gale, this is Chad Peterson from the U.S. Embassy here in Patna. Uh, I'm calling you pursuant to the application for a tourist visa for India with further travel to Karat. We can only accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you will need to bring with you the passport for the deceased, the original and the yeah. Passport. What's happening? Those words sound the same. But it got out of control. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking job, but you couldn't fucking do that! There's a silver lining. We didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be. Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you, but I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong, silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be very simple, but you know, if you give food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know? Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little... Sure, right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. 
and we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! <laughs> should I stay or should I go? Give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you, somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Deplore. <laughs> well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. R.J. Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. We'll change all that. All I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Hmm? All right. With this, with the smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now your mother. Your mother, on the hey. other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you in hindsight. And too much distance is built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized, it's not me, no. It was the fucking golden path. Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Well, let's see here. You've been... Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with R.J. Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. right. Here we go. Go on. Cry for help. Cry for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! Help! From your diaphragm! Help!